Hey everyone, Ashley Neptune here. Um, so I want to talk to you about this setup. Basically, this is one of the most versatile setups I've found. Of course, you can add to it and it can get more complex, but essentially we got these, I don't know what you call it, reverse toms, 12 then 10. Um, the reason I do this is because, you know, most of what I use is, is really just a, a four piece kit and it's just, you know, two toms and a snare. And so I just keep this extra tom set up because when I do more elaborate work, it's there. It's easy. It's convenient. And uh, I do like the sound of, of the toms mixed for a couple of reasons. One, it makes you think differently of how you approach the kit and how you play, especially when phrasing with toms and fills and, and more melodically. Second of all, um, it saves you a lot of setup time from 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 going from uh, uh, a 10 and a 12 to just having the 12. A lot of music really is suitable with the, this this 12 inch tom and a 14 or maybe a 16. And and so you're really set up to play rock and roll. You're really set up to play a lot of the old school uh, grooves. And uh, and then if you want to elaborate, you got that 10. So for me, I've just found this to be really versatile. Um, I don't use a ton of symbols either. Uh, most of my setups are pretty simple. But another thing um, I found is that uh, the more drums you have, all, uh, sometimes, okay, the more drums you have, the more distractions there are. A lot of master drummers play small kits. They don't use a lot of stuff. It could be just three cymbals and, you know, uh, a rack tom, a floor tom, snare and kick, you know, sometimes I've seen just snare, kick and floor tom with, with two cymbals. Less is more. I, I do believe that when you start to expand your creative ideas on a smaller kit, you can add a million cymbals and a million floor toms and that creativity will translate. But if you're playing a ton of cymbals and a ton of toms and you try to translate that on a small kit, it doesn't work the same way, at least not for many drummers. So my advice to you is check out the smaller setups and it allows you to one, save money and put higher quality in, in less. You know, you only need a small kit, so you don't need to buy a lot it, it saves you money same with symbols you get higher quality symbols or you become more selective with the symbols and that also improves your sound because your sound could be your signature ride and your signature hats and you really don't need more than that so essentially less is more and at the same time uh, um, uh, e experiment with with how you set the kit up I mean when I was in college studying music, we we would study our, our heroes and we would set up the kit like our heroes had those kits set up. And we would even try to tune the drums the way they would tune them. And then we would even try to approach the feel that they had and, and, and essentially replicate everything that they were doing. And at the end of the day, what you do is after about four or five of your favorite drummers, you actually set up the, the kit differently when it comes to your own signature style. And that's really good too. So after many years, I, I found this setup to be really nice. I do like a second floor tom myself. I prefer the second floor tom than the 10 inch. Um, but when I'm playing or I'm getting called to, to record a lot of fusion music, uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, I don't know, shredding chops. And uh, it's actually a lot fun for me these days because I don't struggle at it. It's, it's, it's music that I enjoy playing. I actually did not listen or play a lot of the really technical, uh, crazy chop style music when I was uh, in my earlier years. I actually spent many years just playing with um, jazz and blues players and it was always a four piece kit with three cymbals. And when I first got a chance to tour, um, we couldn't afford to bring a percussion player. So I set up a huge drum kit. It was like a six piece kit with a gajillion cymbals. And that was great. But, you know, really, I, I probably overplayed a lot and, and, and added many fills when there shouldn't be fills and just groove. So because I love the groove 
players, the groove masters and the keepers of the groove. I do like the simpler setups and this is one really good setup. So thank you for listening and uh, I hope you uh, I hope you have the drums set up to make your music sound as tasty and groovy as possible. Have a great day.